Hey guys, it's me. Your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi. Making his friendly neighborhood walk. And as you can tell today, it's been very windy. It's been very windy since, say, 8 a.m. in the morning. I mean, it's dying down a bit now, as you can tell, but from what I can tell, it's still very windy. There's something being built up here in this area. Oh my god, if, if that's a 7-Eleven, my prayers will be answered. Oh shit, it looks like it could be a 7-Eleven. Close by. My prayers have been answered. My prayers have been answered. If you can't see, right there, that's gonna be a 7 Eleven. Oh, thank heaven, I can actually go. I can actually do a two hour walk. I can actually go for a two hour walk. Well, not a two hour walk, but a two a.m. walk. Go to 7 Eleven, get myself a big gulp, and come back to the house. My dreams have finally come true. God bless you. You've, you've made walking to a 7-Eleven more fun. And I kept saying it over and over. If there was a 7-Eleven close by. Well, prayers do come true. It's going to take a while for that to open up in my area. No longer do I have to walk so far off to like say Chesterfield Square just to go for 7-Eleven when I can just go right around the corner, bam, there's a 7-Eleven right there. Oh, that's gonna be so good. It means I can take my big gulp, go right around the corner. Get myself a hot dog or two. Come right back home. Aside from that, folks. As I said, it's been it's been one of the it's been one of them years, you know. And Taking from where I last left you last night, I say this, that regardless of what's going on right now, we have to stay vigilant. You can always say, oh, if this is going to happen, well, I had to prepare. Yeah, that's fine, you can prepare, but... The only thing you can do is not be afraid. I stated this in a in a um, in a forum last night, or rather this morning, and I said, if anything, I refuse to live my life in fear. Because that's how they get you. That's how terrorist organizations get you. They want to instill fear. And if you don't show the slightest hint of fear, they will indeed back off. It kind of made one person in, in 
the form of our group worry. And I'm talking about the Anime Expo form that I sometimes see and read on Facebook. And I just see it as this. Everybody's hyped and everything, but you know, there's that worry of, well, what's going to happen? I said, well, think about it. I said, one thing you, you're not supposed to do, if you're declaring something, you don't say where you're going to hit. Because when you say you're going to hit A, B, C, D, E, F, G, in X amount of months and years and such and such, first off, you're giving the opposite of time to prepare. You know, it's like an RPG, you know, a turn-based RPG. You know, some old-school turn-based RPGs, most likely their strategy. Like, say, you don't move, but the enemy moves a lot. So that means one thing. They're nervous. If you make one, one off move, they're going to get you. But if you don't, well then... You're fine, you're okay. Where I'm going to now is I'm actually going to Smart and Final. Just to pick up a few items for the house. Not food, just items. And like I said, I mentioned this last night, but over the weekend I, I had a, a very rough weekend. To where I couldn't really record anything because I just wasn't up to it. If I was just too tired or, you know, my endurance, my endurance and stamina were shot because of what happened to me earlier on Friday. I just had to turn in early and take it easy. And sometimes you have to do that. You have to take it easy. Like over last weekend. Well, we had ourselves a nice little party. Go home. Go home. Whole thing is just bugging me for no apparent reason. But you no, know, we had a great we had a great weekend. Silly dog. Anyway, I mean we had a great weekend. We play Quiplash Friday and Saturday. You know, I think that I think it was a great turnout. Plus, on top of that, some randoms joined, and it was good. You know, it was all good fun. And for what it was worth, for what it was worth, it really was good. Play a few games on tabletop. Like I said, quick flash. Because you know, randomness and dirty jokes are always funny. So, you know, you have to enjoy the little things in life. Even if they are silly, even if they don't make sense. As you tend to grow older, I've read this. But you know, Christmas comes around. When you're younger, you want a lot of stuff, but when you're older, you don't really want too much stuff. Like I remember when I was younger, I wanted all, I wanted just about anything that was 
out there. I want a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Sega CD, 32X. Whatever was there, I wanted it. And over time I did get it, but I got it through hard work. Everything I, I've gotten over the years, it was through hard work. So, you know, once you grow older, you, you start to appreciate the smaller things, the most important things. And for the most part, it's a good feeling. You know, you don't feel like you have to really say, oh, I want this, I want that. It's like the older you get, the more you realize, I don't really want it that badly. It's like now with video games. <coughs> Nearly tripped. I've been tripping twice this entire walk. And I just ate something. <laughs> Go figure. No, but most most times it's like, you know, the older you get, the more you start thinking deeply. It's like, I want this because, oh, this is getting old. I want something better. As someone like me, I don't really care for it, you know? It's like I have Steam. I have like 200 something games I can easily get. And I can pay a lot less for what I'm paying for now, you know? It's like you're going to pay for a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One, as a year you're talking about, or a Wii U. We're talking about 500 something dollars. Because you gotta take into account the expenses and you know everything you want to add on it. Let alone the games. And then on top of that, with how things turn out today in this generation, this generation is pretty rabbit. You know, they're. They're biting at the knee. They are hungry. And sometimes this new generation lacks something the older generation have, which is heart, soul, and guts. So no, seriously, that's what this generation kind of lack. It's like heart, soul, guts, appreciation, a lot of things. It's like with Bushido, you have to take into account that it's not just a warrior's code, but it's a way of thinking you have to be in order to become the ideal warrior, you know? Because being the ideal warrior means you have to stay focused. You have to stay calm and collective in any sort of situation. You have to keep control of your emotions. It's, I mean, you, you can still be, I mean, you can still be who you are, but, you know, the point is, you gotta keep your, your emotions in check. It's like, I think the only thing I'm pretty much known for just having a strong will like not everything will you know automatically influence me it's like not too long ago hey there's a 7-eleven they're building up I didn't even know about it until I just saw on top of the building oh hey we're gonna put we're gonna install a 7-eleven okay that's cool that gets me excited that means I can go whenever I want to 7-Eleven and I don't even have to walk that far. That means I don't I no longer have to go 
all the way down to um, I don't have to walk an hour just to get to one seven left. I could just it could just take me 10, 15 minutes. So all I have to do is make sure I'm dressed. I have my shoes on and get my cup and walk around down there. Get myself my uh, get my big gulp tankard and just go. Another thing that most people have to understand is what most people do and do not understand when you get older. It's about happiness. Happiness is one of the most simplest things you can ever have in your lifetime. To say that you can't become happy means that, you know, you don't know why you're feeling down. But, we must say that when you get older, you get a bit of growing pants. It's part of growing up. You have a midlife crisis. It's part of growing up. You'll get over it. And the one thing I'm constantly reminded of is, oh, I had to take it easy. Relax. Not worry about most of um, most of the problems that are in this world. Because... Nine-tenths of the problem cannot be solved by one person. And that's a universal truth. Not one, no one person can actually solve the problems of the world. Let alone what the people can do if a problem arises. If it happens in their own neighborhood, then yes, it can be solved. But if it's a worldly situation, well, it can't be done. <sighs> hmm. I usually don't think much of this world, really. I only think very little. I only have to take care of one little area of it, and that's where I live. And I usually have to take care of the people that live in said world, namely my folks. And and my friends, I have to take care of them too. Because often than not, if they have one of them kind of days, what happens? They come to me. If I get yelled at, and it's for no reason, what happens? It comes to me. Why? Because I'm able to buffer all that. That's the reason. I'm able to buffer all this stuff. And all I can say is, after the end of the day, whether they go to bed angry or not, hopefully they don't go to bed angry, but they feel they feel justified after doing what they did, which is like vent. Then, hey, if they feel alright, you know it's fine. Because as I said before, you know, I can't really just stop just because you know something's happening in the world like a terrorist attack. How many terrorist attacks have we had before? And was it major? Yes, it was major. But we are a people of endurance, of perseverance. We never give in, nor we nor do we give up. It's just usually the fact that we want vengeance, we want we want justice, we want this, we want that. And the funny thing is, for people 
For some people who want justice for the dead, the dead don't get justice. The dead only get peace. That's what some people need to realize. You cannot avenge the dead. You can only give them peace. So they feel it's a personal war that, you know, oh, you did this to this person. Oh, you did that to our land. We shall have our vengeance. We shall have our justice. Blah, 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 blah. That's nice and all. But what most people have to realize is that the only way we're going to get, get ahead in life is that we understand our situation. That's mainly the thing you have to understand. It's the situation. And with that said, everything should fall into place. But it's the simple things in life we have to really take care of. Emotions are a precious, precious thing. We should let the people we know what's on our minds. Not try to yell on, but, you know, just say, I'm hurting. I'm going through this, I'm sorry if I'm going through this, but this is what happens. We're understandable, we're an understandable bunch. But for the most part, that's how it is, or that's how it should be. But you know, this world is strange. Sometimes alien and foreign but all the time strange. It always changes around us and it never stays the same. People are like that. So, the only thing we have to do is we have to have a mind of understanding, that's all. So, I'm gonna go Get the items I need from Smart and Final here. And when I get back, I'm probably going to put up some more videos of some sort. And um, we'll see what develops in. So, with that, I've been Izzy. And I'll see you later.